You wonder what happens when you take paint, you add some grout, and some tempered glass. Well, stay tuned and let's dive in. Hi, and welcome back, Sea Rockers. To start off today's beautiful piece of art, we've got a 12 by 12 wood panel board all primed and ready to go. And I am just gonna cut a put a background color down so I don't have white showing through our design. As we start the color portion of this project, I'm gonna put one of my favorite colors, which is Prussian blue, and just make some marks on the background of this piece. So the beautiful thing about this project is that you don't have to be an artist to do this particular piece. Basically, you are putting a background of paint on a board or whatever it is you're using, and then we're going to cover it with some tempered glass and grout. Three super easy things to do. Just takes a little bit of skill. And now we're just going to make a design or I'm going to make a design that I like. So I'm just layering colors on here until I get to a point that I want to stop because otherwise I'm just going to make mud and then I'll let it dry and then I'll come back and layer some more colors on. I know that it's going to be a circular design that I'm going to be using, so I'm just kind of utilizing uh, that in my paint. Now about this point, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bling. I'm going to use my pouring medium and some mica powder. This one happens to be Primary Elements, and it is from a brand called Color Art. And it's in a pretty blue, it is it is a beautiful mica powder, and I can't wait to use it in some resin art. So let's add a little shimmer to our piece now. Now, don't worry if you don't have these items at home. Uh, you can use a, a metallic uh, paint and you'll achieve the same effect. Just maybe water it down a little bit and you will still get a, uh, a transparent kind of iridescent look to your, your art. And here's a helpful hint. When you decide to do some paint splatters on your piece, make sure that you turn Turn your art because we have a tendency to keep going to the same spot when we do this. And then you're going to find that you have splatters all in one spot and the big splatters are in one spot. And the little splatters are in another spot. Anyway, turn a piece and that way things will be hopefully evened out. Now I'm going to use something I've been dying to try, something new, and I am going to add watercolor to our piece. My acrylic paint is dry and I'm going to put some watercolors on top and wait till you see as we get a little more on there and I spritz it with some water just how pretty it moves and spreads out and really it just creates kind of an irid not iridescent but a translucent uh, hint of color. And through the magic of editing, our paint is done. And now I'm ready for some tempered glass. This is tempered glass. Looks just like this. It's clear glass. Uh, you might know it as crash glass. It's basically what your shower doors and uh, your car windows are made out of, you know, so they don't cut you when they come flying at you. And I'm gonna adhere it with some diamond glaze. Now this is the first time I'm using this product for this type of art. And I have to say it worked out really well. Just be careful, whatever glue you use, don't get it on top of your glass because it is a bit of a challenge to get it off. And my other hint would be 
to plan out your design ahead of time and maybe even draw it out. Be careful, you will be able to see your drawing or pen or whatever it is you use underneath the glass if you put glass on that line. But anyway, because the reason I say that is because this glue and other glues, once they're on there, they're glued. They are on there for good and you are not going to get them off. And another helpful hint, when you are applying your glue to a tempered glass, make sure you get it out to the edges or that you push down on the glue so that it goes out to the edges because when you put grout on there, you can get what's called a grout bleed, which where it bleeds underneath the glass and then you can see the grout under the glass and you don't want that. So I threw this shot in because I thought the colors were so pretty and of course it's taken with my iPhone. And uh, you can just see the glass here. It's still a work in progress, but can you tell what we're making? That's right, we're making sort of an abstract contemporary wave. Everything is dry and we're ready for some grout. I use this pre-mixed sanded grout that I get from Home Depot. They have a slew of different colors. This just happens to be a white, uh, I believe. And anyway, so this is the really hard part and that's putting grout on that pretty painting. <laughs> but the end result is so worth it. Now I have to give this disclaimer about grout. Grout is not necessarily designed to be used in large spaces. It's designed to fill gaps of usually a quarter, an eighth, uh, maybe half inch, depending on the type of grout you use. So there is a chance depending on the grout that you use that it could crack in those big open spaces where it's not being held together with glass so that is my disclaimer you know i could do a whole video on grouting but basically your home diy here is to make everything level so the grout is level with the glass and I am going to go against the grain. I'm going to break the rules, so to speak. And those wide open spaces, I am going to make them lower than the glass. And that will just add a level of interest uh, to our piece. Once all that grout has filled in, I want to get the excess off the top of the glass before it dries because it's kind of a big, big, big pain in the butt if it dries on there. Anyway, so I'm just leveling it off. I'm not using a whole lot of water because the water is just gonna make a mushy mess. I'll just clean and smooth, clean and smooth, clean and smooth over and over again. This is where the time consuming part comes in. And I'm a perfectionist, so I don't like lumps and things in my grout. So I will do my best to get it to the level of texture that I want. So keep repeating the process and work in sections as you go around and finish your piece. Now this is where the magic happens. When the grout is dry enough for you to go in and scrub off all that extra residue that's been left on there, now you get to start seeing your design come through from the bottom and it is spectacular, like magic. To finish this piece, we're going to clean the glass with some Windex and get those last fingerprints and any other residue that's left. And we'll take it outside for its big reveal. Oh my gosh, y'all. This has to be one of my very favorites. I'm not sure if I love the sparkle from the sunshine more or the contrast between the shiny glass and the matte and texture of the grout. Oh, it's perfect. Thank you.
Thanks for joining me today. I hope I've inspired you to try something new and you've enjoyed yourself. I invite you to join the Sea Rocker family. Like, subscribe, and share with all your salty friends. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me at other social media platforms. My website does have all my art that is for sale as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go beach or go home.